Hello folks, welcome to the canal of Channel Jose. Today we're gonna show you how to replace the main fuses on a Toyota Tercel. And these fuses, the 50 and the 100 amp, and these are the main fuses. So we got a 50 amp and a an 100 amp, and you will never take it out of there trying to pull them up because I'm gonna show you why. Because they're screw or bolt on into the plastic piece, into the gray piece of plastic right here. So for us to replace either one, you have to take the battery out and then we're gonna have to do it from underneath this whole unit, this slice down and then we bring it out to the side and then we replace it. So we're gonna show you the process. So this is the purpose of how to replace the main fuses on this Toyota Tercel. And like I said, most of us think that this will be pulled out and we try and try and it's never gonna come out because they're both on and the plastic piece will not come out of there too. So to get these fuses out of here, we're gonna have to pull this little tab, this black little plastic. We pull them towards the front and then we push down on the fuses. So they go like an elevator. They go down and they gotta come out through the bottom of the fuse box. Okay folks, so once you slide your uh, fuses down, remember this tip, pointy tip, is goes towards the front and this side goes towards the back. So now to replace either one, this one's one side has a 10 millimeter and the other side has a eight millimeter uh, bolt. So to undo one, we have to do undo both sides and slide it out. And we're gonna show you how that's done. And I wanna bring this up. There's a option of a Phillips screw driver and need in both sides. And I don't recommend using it because there's two, these bolts are tight they're so tight that you're gonna strip the head of the the option on the Phillips screwdriver. You just start with a 10 millimeter and the eight millimeter, and that way you don't have to go struggle. So that's the easiest way to take these guys out. So don't use the Phillips screwdriver, go with a socket. For the 50 amp, we're gonna have to use a 10 millimeter socket with a ratchet, and we take this 10 millimeter one, and then we'll go to the other side with the eight millimeter, and that'll take him completely out. Just keep an eye where your uh, wires were and don't lose those bolts. So we take this guy, this eight millimeter, we take it off so we can start sliding our fuse out. So at this point, folks, we have pulled out the 10 millimeter and the eight millimeter bolt. So for a 50 amp, we're gonna be able to pull it out. So at this point we have pulled off or use or burn out fuse so now we have the new one and we slide it in just like the readings on this the 100 amp so you can read it the same way so you slide it in and it slides right on there we put the wire where it was the 10 millimeter and the 8 millimeter bolt we tighten them down and we're almost ready to put them back in At this point folks we have replaced our fuse we have tightening our bolts for the fuse that we replace and we are ready to slide it back from underneath into the fuse box so we can sit and finish our replacement
show you folks where they slide there's a groove right there and there's a groove right here and this is looking downwards into the fuse box and there's a clip and these are the guides see that one that's the guide this is the one that goes towards the front and this is the one that goes towards the back so we guide it into that groove and then on this group That's how it sits. Okay, folks, so we have disconnected it. The red fuse, which is the 50 amp from the 10 millimeter, which is the wire, we're gonna show you. And the purpose of this is because we wanna see what, what this fuse is feeding. See down there, it's disconnected. It's kinda hard to focus. There's a wire that's supposed to go there so we're gonna see what turns on and what doesn't turn on on the car when we try to open the key in the ignition switch we have turned on our headlights and the headlights are working and we still disconnected from that one wire so we're gonna see what else works so now we're gonna try to start our engine and we still disconnect it and it doesn't start push our clutch and it doesn't start let's try the radio not even the radio and one folks this is an idea of how to replace those main fuse on a Toyota Tercel uh, you have to remove the battery and then you have to slide them out and then you gotta work out on them about the area where the battery sits so it, you have to remove the battery and uh, this is an idea like i said how to replace those two one of those two main fuses on the toyota tercel and um, this method of replacing these fuses is for a 91 to a 94 toyota tercel so we'll make a video for 95 to 99 so that way you see the process for those other cars Hopefully this video was useful and uh, we'll see you soon with more videos here on El Canal y Chano Jose.